Hi, good everybody. Good evening. Welcome live to the ship, the Dale High School Gymnasium. I'm Todd Miller as we get ready for the semifinals on Friday night here in the Boomerang Dale High School Classic. Tonight it is the Red Hot Lady Pirates, winners of six straight, six and one of the season, taking it on all, always one of the best class 3A teams in the two and one Falcons of Millwood. Hello, everyone. Again, I'm Todd Miller. Glad to be with you tonight. We'll have the boys semifinal matchup coming up after this one. OCS and the Dale Pirates who moved to seven and oh with a thrashing yesterday of Santa Fe South. Dale thrashed Santa Fe South yesterday. 72 to 7 was the final score. The most lopsided of the 100 victories in Eric Smith's career here. Now five seasons old at Dale High School. Meanwhile, Millwood was able to hold off OCS. They won by 20 in their quarter final matchup yesterday. 67 to 47. It should be a great matchup tonight. The defense against of Dale against the tenacity and the athleticism of Millwood. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Bank First. It's a proud to support the Dale Pirates this basketball season. Bank First is loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to the Pirates, and loyal to you, member FDIC. We'll take our opening timeout. It'll be a two-minute break, and we'll be back ready for the tip-off. It's the Lady Pirates and the Lady Falcons. Dale and Millwood coming up next. Our broadcast brought to you by Bank First and powered by Squirtle on DalePirates.tv. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Back to school. Now your worries about the kids going over on their data plans are back. Mom and Dad, this is for you. Right now, make the switch to Pioneer's Unlimited Data Plans. Don't let data overages and high cell phone bills be something you stress about this school year. We have a plan for everyone. Let Pioneer handle your worries by stopping at a local office today to learn how you can save. Visit GoPioneer.com for details. Some restrictions may apply. one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast pay We have had the invocation. We now have play, had the play to the national anthem before Millwood and Dale play in girls semifinal number two. 
Bale comes in, winners of six straight, six and one. They're only lost the season opener at Preston. Millwood is two and one, having defeated OCS in their quarterfinal matchup here yesterday, 67 to 47. Offensively, the Lady Pirates enter this semifinal matchup, allowing just under 20, uh, under 30 points a game, 29.4 to be exact. Offensively, the Lady Pirates scoring a clip of 52.7, and they have just been suffocating over the last couple of weeks uh, as they enter this championship semifinal matchup. In fact, how dominating have the Lady Pirates been from a defensive standpoint? We'll tell you those numbers here in just a moment as the starters are being introduced. We can tell you that the Lady Pirates this year have allowed just three of their seven foes to shoot better than 25%. Bethel is the only team that has shot better than 30% during the current six-game win streak. And again, Dale averaging defensively, allowing just 29.4 points per ball game. Last night, it was 57 to nothing in favor of Dale at halftime. Lady Pirates, with going with reserves in the second half, scored a total of 15 points. The starters are being introduced here tonight. We'll get them to you here momentarily. For Millwood, it's going to be Ana Atchison, a junior. Brandy Herod, a sophomore. Promise Wright, a freshman. Amani Williams, a sophomore, and Layla Jones, a sophomore. Dava Albert is in her third season at Millwood. She's a 1991 graduate of the school, played for the Falcons' first ever five-on-five girls state championship team. Back in 1990, she played, of course, for the legendary Ardelia Spears. Dale tonight will go with Mackenzie Herman, a senior. Ava Bell, a sophomore. Carson Griggs will start. She is a junior. Brooke Rutland is a senior, and Gracie Waller, is a junior. It will be a contrast in styles here tonight. Dale, of course, will be a little bit more deliberate. Millwood will pressure, overplay the pa uh, passing lanes. Two keys for Dale. If they can control the glass, win the rebound margin, something they have done almost to a four and a half board advantage through six or make that seven games. And if they can Cut down on turnovers, something they average 15 plus per ball game at a six and one ledger. They should be in good shape here tonight. Millwood and Dale, girls semifinal number two. The winner will get Elgin here tomorrow at a time to be determined. They're talking about maybe flipping the championship games to accommodate Millwood, his football team playing in the class 2A state championship game at UCO and Edmond at one o'clock. Tip goes out of bounds, so the Lenny Pirates will have the basketball. Millwood in a Man-to-man -man defense. Right side with it is Gracie Waller to Carson Griggs. Griggs left front court to McKenzie Herman. Rutland pump fakes, drives right, cut off of the block, gets it to Bell. This possession already a half minute old. There's no score. Wing left, Gracie Waller with the basketball. Cut off of the baseline by Amani Williams. Now she drives around her, lays it up, missed the shot. And Amani Williams has the Millwood rebound. Lady Falcons go from right to left across your screen here in the first half of play. Ball deflected. Herod drives baseline, misses a jump shot from 15, and the rebound out of bounds, last touch by Lady Jones. And you can see right there, just on one miss, how aggressive the Lady Falcons are going to the glass. Millwood playing the Boomerang Dale Classic for the first time. This is the second edition of it. The Lady Pirates are the defending ch uh, champions in this event. Rutland off of a screen, open for three, spins it off. Waller with a rebound right baseline. Gets it back to Brooke Rutland on the wing. No score. We played a minute five here in the opening period. Carson Griggs, a, weir, a, a rare touch for her. Spins, goes up, and draws the foul. Griggs hasn't had many touches on the first two trips to the floor, but creates a shot opportunity and then draws the foul on Layla Jones. That's her first, and the first against Billwood. Last night, in the win over Santa Fe South, Carson Griggs did not score. Griggs, you can see with that knee brace on her right knee, misses the first free throw. If there's something that the Lenny Pirates in their first six or seven games have not done well, that's shoot free throws. They're less than 70%. They average 15.2 tries per ball game and shoot 68%. Carson Griggs, 67%, splits the difference as she cleanly hits the first, and Dale leads Millwood 1-0 with 75 seconds gone here in the opening period from the ship. And A. Atchison with it on the front court. Good defense by Ava Bell. Wing right, promise right. Right bounces it, the ball deflected, and it's taken away by Rutland. Rutland to the front court. Leaves it for Herman to Brooke. She'll fire a three-splash. She got it right wing. 
Just like that, it's a 4-0 Dale run to start the ball game with 6-16 to go here in the opening period from the ship at Dale. Into the front court, Promise right, bounces it right side for Herod. Herod is trapped on the wing against the 2-3 zone. Now lobs it across the floor for Promise right. The freshman drives, throws up a runner, hits it high off the glass, and it almost caromed in. It rattled out. Rebound controlled by the Lady Pirates. They lead early 4-0, two minutes gone here in the opening period. Ava Bell, the sophomore, run off the arc, left wing side, veers top of the key. Rutland with the basketball, curls from right to left around the top of the key, now to Herman. McKenzie guarded wing left by an A. Atchison, drives into the paint, bounces right, sh uh, short right. The th quarter three by Waller rattles off. Atchison has the rebound for Millwood. 4 0 Dale early. Atchison through the top of the key, lobs it over the right side for Herod. Herod pivots on the block and goes up and in. It took nearly two and a half minutes for the Lenny Falcons to get points, yet they trail just 4 2 on a field goal by Brandy Herod. 5.26 to go here in the opening period. Girls championship semifinal number two from the Boomerang Diner Classic here at Dale. Bounce pass to Gracie Waller, elbow right. She's defended there by Amani Williams. Amani Williams, a physical-looking sophomore out there. Rutland handles a bounce pass, goes to the goal, and is blocked out of bounds by Brandy Herod. There you see the athleticism of the Lady Falcons, and Brandy Herod, just a sophomore, she's going to be a force for Dava Alberts Club over the next two-plus years. Mackenzie Herman bounces it to Griggs, who misses the layup. Got too far into the basket. Atchison with a rebound. Counter attacks. Millwood could tire, take the lead of this possession. Ball deflected. It's run down by Jones. Quarter right. At high promise right. She steps inside the arc, misses wide left. Rebound underneath to Gracie Waller. They had a foul against Millwood. And they're looking at Layla Jones, and that's her second. So she has both for the Lady Falcons, and quickly, Amani uh, Atchison, another underclassman, will come in for Millwood. So the first substitution comes with 4.57 to go with the first period. Dale leading Millwood here in a rare matchup between these small school powers in the state of Oklahoma. 4-2 our score. Lady Pirates, if you're just settling in, raced out to a four-point lead. Left side, Gracie Waller. Waller averages... Seven and a half points, over four and a half rebounds per ball game. Carson Griggs, top of the key, McKenzie Herman, down the paint, lays it up. It was challenged that time by Wright, and the shot hit the bottom of the rim. Rebound to Millwood, up ahead, Atchison, bounces it off of the baseline for Amani Atchison, her sister. The Atchisons exchange passes. Emily Amani will trigger a three right corner and missed it. Rebound tip, still free of the floor. Millwood runs it down. Promise Wright to the goal, lays it up and into the game is tied. Promise right with her first basket. Millwood has outscored Dale four to three in field goals. Two baskets for the Lady Falcons, just one tonight early for Dale. They have a free throw as well from Carson Griggs. Halfway down through the first period at 4 4 our score. Winner gets Elgin tomorrow for the championship here at the Boomerang Classic. Left side, Griggs. She'll spin. That's actually Rutland. Now she lobs it out front to Bell. Right side it goes for Mackenzie Herman. On the baseline, it's Gracie Waller. Waller, three steps, slides to the right circle, bounces for Rutland, throws up her floater. It's short in the paint. Millwood crashes for the rebounds, and Lady, uh, Layla Jones has it. Lady Falcons, who went over two and a half minutes without points, can take their first lead with the, uh, points on this possession. We're tied at four. Atchison with it right side. Down the paint goes Promise right, and she took steps. Dale forces 21.2 turnovers per ball game as the Lady Pirates will bring Kaylee Strange in along with Aliyah Landreth. Strange last night had 10 points in the 72-7 victory over Santa Fe South. We told you it was the most lopsided victory for Eric Smith in five years as a coach here at Dale, and it also was his 100th win with the Lady Pirate program. 3.15 to go opening period, 4-4 our score. Waller holds it high above her head, elbow left, had it poked out, gets it to Rutland, she'll fire and got the three-pointer. Rook has both of the made baskets for the Lady Pirates. Both are three-pointers. And for Rutland, into the week, she had made 11. 7-4, the Dale lead. Into the front court, promise right for the Lady Falcons. Lobs it and gets a return pass. They dump it down low for Amani Williams, who misses the layup. Crashing for the rebound is Aliyah Landreth. 
Landruff hands it off in the backcourt to Strange, who starts the break. Now to Herman. McKenzie veers around the top of the key to Rutland. They go with a three-guard weave. Now it's Strange on a bounce pass between the center circles. Two and a half minutes to go opening period. 7-4 Dale. They've never trailed. Rutland spins, drives, pulls up, and is fouled. It'll be a blocking foul against the Lady Falcons. So Rick Rutland, who's come out hot tonight scoring, will go to the line for two. Amani Williams draws her first in the third here of the period with 2.31 to go for Millwood. Lady Falcons are 2-1 and one of the season. Dale is 6-1 and one with six straight wins. Rutland with her seventh point on the heels of a 16-point effort last night against Santa Fe South. Entering the week, averaging 18 points, 6.3 rebounds. She's now 20 of 27 for the free throw line as she hits both. Start the game, Dale is 3 of 4 from the line. 9-4 in favor of the home team. 2-16 to go opening period. Right wing side with it is Atchison. She'll cross court at the pass, run down by... Anae Atchison, high post right with it as Herod, pump fakes, drives to the goal and lays it in. Brandy now has four of the six for the Lady Falcons. That ends a 5-0 Dale run. 2.06 to go opening period from Dale. Lady Pirates trying to stretch the win streak to seven straight play for another championship here in the second annual Boomerang, Boomerang Classic. Strange bounces it out high. Waller a deep three. Bang! She nailed that one from well beyond, about three steps beyond the top of the circle, and it's 12 to six, a nine to two run now since the game was tied at four. And we get an official stoppage of play, and they're gonna call a timeout. It's timeout Millwood from Dava Albert. One four. would like to thank Boomerang Diner, d, &D Truck Sales, First National Bank, and LNS Construction for their support of Pirate and Lady Pirate action. Last year, Dale's girls won this tournament by winning margins of 41, 38, and 10. The closest game over Silo in the championship game, 52-42. Their first round opponent would be their championship game opponent tomorrow, Elgin, if they Hold on to win this game, leading 12-6. They beat the Lady Owls 57-16, a 41-point spread a year ago. But Brett Sanders, the journeyman and very successful head high school girls coach in Oklahoma, has taken over the reins at Elgin. They beat Kingston tonight in the other girls' semifinal. Right side, promise right. They try to force it in. Atchison's pass knocked away from Herrett. Atchison gets it back, throws up a runner, missed it. Rebound tore down by Imani Atchison. Another offensive rebound. Atchison for the foul line. Airballed it. That's a day right into the hands of Carson Griggs. 75 seconds to go first period. 12-6 our score here in Dale. Left front court with the basketball is Brooke Rutland. Rutland guarded one-on-one -on -one by Promise Wright. Lobs it for Griggs in the left corner. Griggs is cut off near the paint. Goes to Rutland. Rutland has eight points to lead all scores of this ball game early. Right side with it is Gracie Waller. Waller holds it above her head. Gets a return pass now to McKenzie Herman. Under a minute to go with the opening period. Herman drives baseline and a good recovery by Imani Williams to rake the ball out of her hands and save a layup. Millwood, another block shot at the other end of reach in foul called against Dale. That's against Ava Bell as Millwood was trying to press the issue once more off of a miss. 43 seconds to play opening period. Dale 12, Millwood 6. And the winner will play Elgin tomorrow. There's some talk that the third place and the championship game game times could be flipped to accommodate Millwood's boys. Amani Atchison's three right wing, no good. Brandy Herod runs down the rebound, goes back up and rattles home a jumper. Herod has six of the eight for Millwood, and the Lady Falcons have answered with four straight to cut it down to four. 20 seconds to go, opening period. Waller spins right wing, now to Griggs, down the paint goes Carson, hit the front of the rim, rebound to Amani Williams. 14 seconds to go, plenty of time for Millwood. Late first period, um, Anae Atchison pulls up underneath the foul line and rolls home the jumper, and it's 12 to 10 with four seconds to go in the period. McKenzie Herman veers right, throws up a runner off the glass, and it's nowhere close. Millwood, after the coach Albert timeout, goes on a 6-0 run to reduce it down to two. The advantage for Dale at the end of one, 12 to 10. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Bank First. It's Dale Pirates basketball on DalePirates.tv, powered by Scordle.
world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Todd Miller back here with you at the Dale High School Gymnasium. 12-10 Lenny Pirates put a 6-0 Millwood run to close the first as this game very much within striking range for the Lenny Falcons. 12-10 our score. Interested enough, Dale has made three field goals in the first eight minutes. All have come from beyond the arc. This is a Lenny Pirates team that Coming in averages just under 53 a game, but they get 20 and a half of those 53 points per in the paint. They do not have a two-point basket over eight minutes into this ball game. Cross midcourt, promise right. She spins, bounces it for Nay an Atchison, and her bounce pass stolen away by Waller. Good hustle by Gracie. Into the hands it goes for Herman. Two-point Dale lead. They had the basketball here early second period. Herman backs elbow left is defended there by Promise Wright. Out high with it is Rutland. Spins it with double team. Rips it away. McKenzie bounces for Waller. She'll put up her second three. That one rattles out no good. Ava Bell, one of the Liddy rebounders for the Liddy Pirates, has it. To Waller. Skips it right front court for McKenzie Herman. 7.24 to play first half. 12-10 Dale with the lead of the basketball. Millwood still chasing it, a man-to-man -man defense. Rutland rips away a pass out high, slides left, goes to Herman on the wing. Back out front, it's Gracie Waller. Defended chest-to-chest -chest by Amani Atchison. Millwood pushing Dale out near the midcourt stripe. Rutland goes right around Amani, and Atchison is going to hack her in the act, and that'll be her first. So Brooke Rutland, who has been the lion's share of the offense with eight of the 12 points, three from Waller, a free throw from Griggs, that's into the 12. Nearly nine minutes into this ball game. First free throw by Brooke is up and good. Rutland, before last night, was 18 of 25 for the foul line. She's now 21 of 28. Best foul shooter among the regulars at 72 plus percent. Hits both. Dale has now made five straight to the line after the first miss of the ball came from Carson Griggs. Seven uh, minutes to go in the first half. 14-10, Lady Pirates. They've never trailed. There's a cross-court pass intercepted by Bell. Bell, one-on-one of -on -one the goal against Rihanna Hill, and Hill's going to deny her the goal as she fouls her, and that's Rihanna's first. That's already the fifth against Millwood, and we played... Nine minutes and 10 seconds, so it could be a free throw shooting advantage for Dale here in this first half. Ava Bell at the line had two points last night. She only played the first half of the win over Santa Fe South and misses short. This is an impressive statistic. The Lady Pirates get to the line over 15 times a game. They only allow the opponents 10.2 trips per to the stripe and only five plus points a game in charity. Second free throw is good. The lead is five, thanks to three straight to start the period with Dale. Into the front court and today, Atchison. Cross courts at Promise right. Left corner, Rihanna Hill air balls it. Carson Griggs has the rebound. Griggs did not make an appearance until game three of the season for Eric Smith's ball club. Since then, averaging over four and 3.3 rebounds. Rutland drives, cross courts at ball deflected. McKenzie Herman knocks it away from the Lady Falcon. It's still free in today, Atchison. Snatches it out of the air. Atchison through the paint, throws up a runner and rattles it home, and she'll get it and what? She kind of threw it up and hoped she knew she was going to get the contact, and it rattled home as the whistle blew and the foul was called against Gracie Waller. That's her first, only the second against Dale with 6-16 to play here in the first period, first half. Anae Atchison. At the line, had a good game last night. Their 20-point quarterfinal victory over Oklahoma Christian School, and she hits the free throw. And coming in for Millwood will be Layla Jones. She went to the bench midway to late in the first period with two fouls. So Dava Albert is going to roll the dice and bring her back in, hoping she didn't pick up a third with just over six minutes to go here in the first half. Herman across midcourt, guarded by Promise Rod. Boy, she looks good as a freshman. Herman, the senior, 
Gets it to Rutland. It was nearly stowed away by Hill. Rutland then tried to cross court. It's deflected twice, stolen by Herod. Herod all the way to the goal against Bell. Lays it up. It rolls off. And Ava will be whistled for her second. So three now against the Lady Pirates, but two of those against the sophomore Ava Bell, who has played and started in all eight games for Eric Smith's club. Eric, of course, won a couple of state championships at Alba in a 10-year career with the Lady Bugs. Spent three years at Frontier near Ponca City. And now is in his fifth season here at Dale as the first free throw by Herod is up and good. Millwood could all of a sudden tie this game with a free throw here as Bell with those two fouls checks out. Kaylee Strange, a sophomore, who's played in every game this year for the Lady Pirates, comes in. Kaylee averaging seven and a half points, four rebounds entering play yesterday. Left-handed Herod's free throw rattles in and out. Rebound poked up, and it is saved and bounced by Millwood. Nobody down there for the Lady Falcons, so... McKenzie Herman comes out of there with it. Rutland with the basketball. Now they'll pull it back out front for Kaylee Strange, and it's ripped out of the hands that time of Carson Griggs. Take away by right. She throws it up ahead, and Strange, hus or excuse me, Herman hustling down the floor, prevents a basket by tipping that one out of bounds. 15 to 14 at one point. Dale led by eight, 12 to four, a six nothing run to close the first, put Millwood back in this ball game. As Amani Williams will come in and get Promise Wright who goes to the bench for the first time. Rihanna Hill to inbound out front, and A. Atchison back to Hill, open quarter right three, no good as it back rim. McKenzie Herman boxes out and then a dangerous bounce pass is snatched away by Herod. Herod cross courts it and the layup missed that time by Layla Jones. Rebound underneath to Carson Griggs. So Dale still, despite dodging two in close bullets on that Millwood trip, preserves a one point lead and has never trailed as we played 11 minutes here in the first half. Winner gets Elgin tomorrow night. Wing left with a basketball, Brooke Rutland. Rutland spins, working against today. Atchison goes left to right, lays it up, missed it. Rutland crushed, good or crashed, but Imani Williams with good rebounding position. And A. Atchison leads the break, kicks it to Jones for the layup, and Millwood has overcome an eight point deficit to lead one, 16 15. 442 to go here in the first half. McKenzie Herman bounces left side, Kaylee Strange. Rutland with it near the Pirate Center Circle logo. Millwood has yet to deviate for that man to man defense, and they probably won't. Herman through the top of the circle to Waller left side, down to Rutland. Rutland with a basketball, throws it away, was looking for Griggs, who was sealed, and today Atchison has another turnover. Up ahead, right side, Rihanna Hill. Hill that had it taken away as it was on her hip by Strange. Strange up ahead to Griggs, one on two for the left-handed layup, and it's good. And she just did get it off as Brandy Herod almost had another block. Carson Griggs, her first field goal, 17-16, Dale, at the midway point of the second period. Quick jumper put up, Atchison right circle. An A's jumper misses short, rebound to Strange, who's come in and snatched a couple of rebounds here early. Herman, fall away jumper, right angle, tried to bank it in, missed it off the front of the rim, rebound to Brandy Herod. Herod leads the break, three on one, bounces to Hill. Hill missed it, but the tip is good by Amani Williams. And a timeout, 18-17 in favor of Billwood. 3.41 to play here in the first period. We'll take a break. This is Dale Lady Pirates basketball on DalePirates.tv, powered by Scordal. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at scordal.com right now for more information. back to school. Now your worries about the kids going over on their data plans are back. Mom and Dad, this is for you. Right now, make the switch to Pioneer's unlimited data plans. Don't let data overages and high cell phone bills be something you stress about this school year. We have a plan for everyone. Let Pioneer handle your worries by stopping at a local office today to learn how you can save. Visit GoPioneer.com for details. Some restrictions may Live ball turnovers against teams like Millwood will get you beat oftentimes, and a live ball turnover just led to an advantage on the break and a bucket for Millwood. They retake the loot as Rutland slides down the paint, and Herod has another block, and it's off of Brooklyn out of, or Brook out of bounds. So what not, well, not a turnover. It's an empty possession for Dale, and now Millwood can 
build on what has been their biggest lead here in the first half of one. They've had it on two occasions. Round the defender right, angles through the paint, spins right side, bounces out high to Hill. Hill left side to Herod, backing down to the block. It's poked out of her hands by the much smaller McKenzie Herman, and then she saves it in bounds. With her back to the ball, she gets it to Rutland. Rutland, Euro steps in the paint, banks it home, and she's fouled. Brooke Rutland will get a bang for her bucket of the foul by Promise Wright. Brooke Rutland will go to the line. She has 12 of the 19 points already for Dale. One of two of the three leading scorers that returned from a year ago. She caps the three-point play. 20 to 18, Lady Pirates. Under three to play here in the first half. Right side with it is Rihanna Hill. Goes out high. They'll kick it left side. It's intercepted by Brooke. Rutland having a terrific first half. Veers left into the front court. Backs away into the offensive end. Now to Gracie Waller. Waller whips it right side. That's Rutland. On the wing, it's Herman who knocks down the three. Four three-point baskets of the six made for Dale here in the first half. It's 23-18 with 2.26 to play before the break. Promise right into the front court. Right side for Brandy Herod. Herod working away from Strange. Bounces it over the right block for Layla Jones. She'll lay it up. Missed it. Ball juggled like a hot potato. Picked up off the floor by Layla Jones and a foul. That's what happens when you don't grab a hold of the basketball. Looked like a hot potato. Nobody wanted to pick it up, but it cost McKenzie Herman her first foul and the team's fourth. Glad to have Alex of the crew here tonight on DalePirates.tv doing a bang-up job as always. Kennedy Tate, a freshman, will come in for the first time. They call the foul on the floor, so Millwood will inbound. They'll trigger it baseline left hill. Gets it to Herod. Down low of the block, it's Williams who lays it in, and she's fouled. Hug on the front of the rim momentarily and then fell down. Rutland has her first, and Millwood, who all of a sudden a moment ago trailed 23-18, to 18, can cut it down to a one-possession game again at 23-21 with a foul shot here. Amani Williams is a sophomore, and she splashes home the free throw. Lady Falcons have hit three of their first four. Millwood entering this ball game does not have a senior on the roster. The 11 suited tonight, eight are underclassmen. They have three juniors. Those are the only veterans. Kaylee Strange veers right side to Waller. Down the paint she goes. Kicks it off with the baseline. Carson Griggs to Rutland. Rutland veers for the right to left side. Millwood an intense half-court man-to-man defense. Kaylee Strange, yo-yo dribbles. Out pops McKenzie Herman. Herman has to have composure at the point tonight. Waller curls, fires a three, misses that one long, and it caroms out of bounds. Possession back over to Millwood. 1.41 to play here in the first half. Dale just unable to shake the visitors from Oklahoma City tonight as they've led by as many as eight. A moment ago, led 23-18. to 18. Now it's down to a two-point game in Falcon basketball. Kennedy Tate, elbow left, Amani Williams. She'll lob it, almost threw it in the backcourt. It's run down by Rihanna Hill. Wing right for Promise Wright. Wright's errant bounce pass run down by Kennedy Tate, and they'll back it out near with Rihanna Hill. Hill down the paint, shoots over Waller, who blocked the shot. Rebound on the floor, picked up, stick back by Williams, no good. And finally, Gracie Waller, who had a block on that possession, has the rebound. And a loose ball foul called against Millwood. That's Amani Williams, who has her second. And Gracie Waller, who did it all with a block and a rebound of that defensive series, will go to the line for a one-and-one, as that's the Lady Falcons' seventh foul here in the first half. 1.14 to play before intermission. Foul shot is up, and that one clangs off the hill of the rim. And the rebound yanked down by Amani Williams. So a missed opportunity there by Gracie, who entered the week shooting 85% for the line. Missed layup by Heron at the other end. Rebound to Rutland up ahead to McKenzie Herman. Herman lost the ball, got it back, fires it to Rutland, or three duck close. Rebound out of bounds, and it's saved off of Millwood. Looked like it was headed out of bounds off Dale, but a great heads-up play that time by Herman to knock it off a of promise right. C.D. Johnson, a freshman, will come in for the first time, and Amani Williams with two fouls will have a seat. 53 seconds to play, opening half. Dale by two. Lady Pirates trying to win their seventh in a row. Continue their dominance here with this Boomerang Classic. Kaylee Strange with a basketball. Stationary dribble out front. McKenzie Herman, left 
side, Gracie Wall, a great spin move to get away from Herod. Layup is no good. She blew the layup and hung to the rim and rolled off. Millwood has the miss surrounded. Lady Falcons right to left. Herod attacks at the baseline, throws up a runner, well defended by Herman, and comes up short. Gracie Waller with another defensive rebound. 22 seconds to play here in the first half, 23-21. Let's see if Dale plays for the final shot and assures themselves of a halftime lead. Gracie Waller out front moves left of a screen from Kaylee Strange. 10 seconds to play in the half, and a near turnover the ball batted into the backcourt, and a foul called against Millwood. Promise right, they said pushed off against McKenzie Herman, and I'm not certain I agree with that call because both players have the right to go for loose, loose basketball. Dava Albert, the third-year head coach and graduate of Millwood, 1991, is barking to the officials down below. As today, Atchison now is going to come back in. Big day for Millwood football tomorrow, 1 o'clock at UCO and Edmond. They will take on Washington for the 2A state title. Brooke Rutland will go to the line. She's 5 of 5 and misses that one. Millwood has the rebound, and then Herman able to tie up Brandy Herod. That will be a Millwood turnover. The arrow favors Dale with 6.9 seconds to play. So we've had a lot go on since there were 12 seconds to play in the period, and I thought Dale might play for the final shot. McKenzie Herman to inbound, baseline right. Gets it to Carson Griggs. Five seconds to play in the half. Griggs is covered up by Herod. Two seconds, one second. Herman a hoist right angle, and it's good! Hit the front of the rim, and as the backboard lit up, it dropped through the cup. McKenzie Herman with her fifth point, and Dale will lead by four, going to halftime over 3A Millwood, 25 to 21. If you're looking for a bank with the strength of a national bank, but service delivered with a smile from your neighbor, Bank First is your choice. Bank First is loyal to Dale, loyal to you. Bank First, member FDIC. Dale by four at the end of the first half in the girls' championship semifinal number two from the Boomerang Classic. We'll be back with more after these messages on DalePirates.tv, powered by Scordle. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at scordle.com right now for more information. Back to school. Now your worries about the kids going over on their data plans are back. Mom and Dad, this is for you. Right now, make the switch to Pioneer's unlimited data plans. Don't let data overages and high cell phone bills be something you stress about this school year. We have a plan for everyone. Let Pioneer handle your worries by stopping at a local office today to learn how you can save. Visit GoPioneer.com for details. Some restrictions may apply. high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help.
Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Back to school. Now your worries about the kids going over on their data plans are back. Mom and Dad, this is for you. Right now, make the switch to Pioneer's unlimited data plans. Don't let data overages and high cell phone bills be something you stress about this school year. We have a plan for everyone. Let Pioneer handle your worries by stopping at a local office today to learn how you can save. Visit GoPioneer.com for details. Some restrictions may apply. Todd Pillar back here with you at The Ship. The Dale High School Gymnasium, Lady Pirates lead 25-21 to 21 over Millwood in a hotly contested first half of play. Pirate Athletics would like to thank Dak Liners, Butler Roofing, Herring Concrete Construction, Herring Steel, 4J Foundation, Bank First Insurance Services, Kyle Roseburg, Vision Bank, SSM Health, BNC Lighting, and Sparks Heated and Air for their continued support of Dale High School Athletics. Team and game high scoring honors at halftime belong to Brooke Rutland with 13 points, five from Mackenzie Herman, three each from Carson Griggs and Gracie Waller, one point at halftime from Ava Bell. Interested enough, Dale has seven baskets in the first half. Four of those are three-point baskets, two from Rutland, one from Waller, one from Mackenzie Herman. Lady Pirates were 7 of 11 at the free throw line. Brandy Herod has been terrific on both ends of the floor for the Lady Falcons in the first half, seven points. Lee Devon scoring today, Atchison with five, five points from Amani Williams. Williams, though, along with Layla Jones, each have two fouls. Two points on pro from Promise Wright, two from Layla Jones, Millwood three of four at the foul line. Foul trouble for Dale, only one player, Ava Bell, with multiple fouls, and she has two at halftime. It is now official. They have flipped the championship of the third place games here at the Boomerang Classic tomorrow to accommodate Millwood. The girls' championship game will be played at 4 o'clock. It'll be the winner of this game against Elgin. 4 o'clock for the girls' championship game here at Dale. The boys' title game pitting either OCS or the winner of Dale and OCA will be at 5.30. Girls' third-place game at 7. Boys' third-place game at 8.30. Best of luck to the Falcons against Washington tomorrow as they play for the Class 2A football championship. Average margin of victory through four games all time in this Boomerang Classic for the Lady Pirates, 38 and a half. There will be no such blowout like that tonight. They won by 65 yesterday. They lead by four here at halftime as festivities winding down here on this semifinal Friday night. When we return, we'll be back with the start of the second half. Lady Pirates lead 25-21 over Millwood. This is Dale Basketball from DalePirates.tv, powered by Scordle. high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. 
At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. Both teams back out of the floor. We're moments away from the start of the second half. Dale leading by 4, 25-21. This is the second edition of the Boomerang Classic. Last year, en route to the championship, Eric Smith's squad beat Elgin Afton and Silo. They beat Elgin at Afton by a combined 77 points. Silo by 10. They beat Santa Fe South last night by 65. And they lead by four here as we get ready to start the second half. Winner will face Elgin tomorrow. Girls' championship game now officially set for 4 o'clock. We love our viewers. We love performing for you and having you online with us. However, you may be listening or watching. We also like to have fans here at the gym. Come on out and support the Dale boys and girls. Two more games in this homestand before Christmas. Next Tuesday night against Luther. Next Friday night, a week from tonight, against Christian Heritage. 25-21, we're underway in the second half. Millwood shooting off to our right. Ball is deflected, picked up by Atchison, who air balls a foul line jumper, and Griggs very wisely just watches it go out of bounds. Millwood now is going to use a 2-2-1 full court trap. It's going to be imperative that the guards handle it. Waller gets it to Herman, to Griggs, threw it behind her. She juggles it, beats the 10-second count. Carson into the front court. Nearly had a crossover dribble taken away. She's trapped. Hands it off for Ava Bell, and Bell was, they say, pushed. She was walking a tightrope, and that's on Amani Williams, who has her third. She was trying to stay in bounds and try to concentrate and get the handoff. And a whistle helped her out there as Amani Williams becomes the first player of the ball game with more than two fouls. 7-17 to play third period. Todd Miller with you on DalePirates.tv, presented by Bank First and powered by Scordell. Mackenzie Herman through the top of the key. Rutland, does she stay hot? Misses her first shot of the third period. Body on the floor, ball on the floor. Griggs has it in a 30-second timeout call for the Lady Pirate bench by Eric Smith. Lady Pirates this year are 4-0 at home after defeating Santa Fe South yesterday. They lost their season opener to Preston, one at Bing, one at Amber Pocasset at the time Ampo was undefeated. They've come home, they've beaten Latta, they've beaten Bethel, they've beaten Winniewood. And last night, Santa Fe South. The Jones game, which was originally scheduled for December the 6th as part of what would have been an eight-game homestand, now has been moved to January the 3rd. We'll have that game for you here on DalePirates.tv. We'll also have both games next week on the 13th and the 16th here at home against Luther and CHA. We still hope a... Good crowd will come out and send these boys and girls into the holidays with a couple more wins. 25-21, our score early third period. Girls championship game number two in the Boomerang Dale Classic. Rutland will handle the inbounds pass. Out front with it is Gracie Waller. Waller being pestered by an A. Atchison. Steps inside the arc, misses short. Rebound tipped out by Millwood. Rutland had it, and it's knocked into her hands. That may have been another block for Herod. Millwood has it. They have it three on three and a good pass to Williams and Amani lays it in. 25-23, that's what Millwood does. Off live balls, turnovers and rebounds. They love to push the issue and a travel the backcourt. That's against McKenzie Herman. Dava Albert, she learned at the feet of the best. Her high school coach, Arnelia Spears, just was one of the best high school coaches, boys or girls, this state has ever known. There's a timeout on the floor. It's a 30-second timeout. Ironically enough, when Spears was hired back in the early 1970s, 
she was given a choice. You can take the program over or we're going to shut it down. Of course, that was long before Title IX was thought of. Arnelia Spears took it over, built a great feeder program of the junior high programs at Millwood. Won three state championships, all coming since 1990, and they were one of the pioneers in five-on-five -five girls basketball here in the state of Oklahoma at any class. In fact, their coach, Dava Albert, was a member of the program's first five-on-five -five state championship team in 1990. Millwood with athletic tradition unlike any other in the state of Oklahoma. And a near turnover as Atchison had it knocked into her hands by Brooke Rutland. 25-23, Dale still has not scored here in the second half, 90 seconds in. They led 12-10 to the end of one, and by 4-25-21 at the break. Behind the back, Promise Wright throws up a runner in the paint, misses high off the window. Rutland, the long rebound. Brooke pushes into the front court. Now gets it to Herman. Herman left side, Waller. She'll put up another three. That one is short off the front rim. Long rebound to Amati Williams. Bell has to be careful in the backcourt, pressuring with two fouls. They bounce it to Wright, who drives baseline left. Right into the paint, gets it to Jones at the foul line. Williams, Amani's jumper, no good. Rebound juggled, and Brooke Rutland took it away, and then Rutland has it taken right back by Promise Wright, who drop steps into the paint and a foul. The foul will go against Carson Griggs. They said she got her on top of the head, and that's the first foul for Carson, and the first team foul against the Lady Pirates with two minutes and three seconds gone here in this third period. Couple of free throws for the freshman promise right would tie the game, and the first one is up and good. Arnelia Spears retired, and then they hired a coach. He was not there long. She came out of retirement, and then Dava Albert in 2019 took the program over. Williams has tied the game with a couple of free throws. 25 apiece with 5.49 to play here in the third period. A dangerous bounce pass, knocked free on the floor, still free. Diving for it, now we get a whistle to tie up on the Pirate Loco, and the arrow favors Dale. If you're going to make bounce passes against this team, they have to be crisp and precise. They have cat-quick hands, they're all terrific athletes, and they're always clocking the passing lanes. 4-0 Millwood run to start the second half. Almost two and a half minutes gone on the third. Herman swings it left. Waller run off the arc. Jump passes to McKenzie. Herman lost it briefly. Runs it down near the midcourt strike. Five and a half to play here in the third. Wing right with it is Rutland. Back to Herman. Swings it left. Rut, uh, Waller for three. Misses that one long. Rutland with the rebound. Dribbles out right corner. Misses short on a three and a foul. And A. Atchison, it's her first. I think they're calling it after the shot and not on the shot, so Dale will inbound. Would have loved to, that, to have been on the shot because of the three-point attempt. Here comes Kaylee Strange into the lineup, and Ava Bell will check out. Bell's never really gotten in rhythm tonight with those early fouls. 25 apiece. Millwood has led on two occasions by no more than one point. Dale's led by as many as eight, but a 6-0 run by Millwood to close the first period. Got the Lady Falcons back into the ball game. Waller, left quarter, Rutland, she'll trigger another three. That one rolls home. Brooke with her third three-point basket with three minutes gone here in the third period. The Lady Pirates finally have their first points of the second half, 28-25. Left wing, promise right. Elbow left, Amani Williams bounces it to Herod. Herod has it stripped for the way up. Steal by Herman, up ahead to Strange. Strange slows it down, fires a three and back rims it. Down for the rebound is Brooke Rutland. She'll dribble out, leads it to Waller. She'll put up a three, that one back rims. Herod with a rebound and Griggs, who was on the floor, almost undercut her. Then Carson's gonna be called for her second. Team fouls even at two. So we approach the halfway point here of the third period. Ty Miller with you on DalePirates.tv, powered by Scordo and brought to you by Bank First. 4.33 to play third period, 28-25. Dale Boys looking to go 8-0 of the year. They will take on Oklahoma Christian Academy here in the final game of day number two for the Boomerang Dale Classic. All the action this weekend right here on DalePirates.tv. Promise Wright pulls up elbow right and bricked it, and it came off so hot it hit one of the Lady Pirates, I think Herman, and it's off McKenzie out of bounds. An ugly game, but that's the kind Millwood likes to play. And A. Atchison to Herod. Brandy's shot hit the rim twice, left to the paint, wouldn't go. 
Rebound to Dale, and then she went to the floor and slid. That's Ava Bell, and it's going to be a turnover. 4-10 to go, third period. One possession lead for the Lady Pirates. The lob at baseline left for Layla Jones, and it's ripped into her hands by Waller. Gracie's played pretty well tonight. Herman to Waller, back to Herman, as she'll bring it to the front court right to left. Midway through the third period here from Dale, 28-25, Lady Pirates. Herman swing pass as they try to reverse it, knocked out of bounds by Atchison. And they had her hand to the passing lane. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. The last couple of possessions, though, Dale has done a better job in swinging the ball, getting some open looks from the perimeter. But right now, they've become a jump shooting team. Kaylee Strange, foul line right. Brooke Rutland with the left hand gets deep. And the pass deflected first by Atchison, then by Wright out of bounds with 3.46 to play here in the third. Carson Griggs, who went to the bench briefly, is going to replace Kaylee Strange on the floor. So Griggs, Waller, Herman, Rutland, and Bell out there for Eric Smith's club. Griggs gets a pass down low, pivots into the paint, missed it, and a whistle on the loose ball. Now they're going to call a foul against the Lady Falcons of Monty Williams, who was on the floor. And Williams has now picked up her fourth personal foul. And Dava Albert is almost to midcourt with her hands on her hips, wanting an explanation. That's the third foul of the period against Millwood. And now it looks like McKenzie Herman may be nicked up a little bit, so she's going to come out of the ball game. As Strange will come back in. 28-25, Dale. Lady Pirates have turned it up offensively against lesser opponents the last couple of games, with the exception of Bethel. But their defense has really, really been their calling card here early. Strange gets a pass between the circles. Out front to Griggs, and now an official stoppage of play. There may have been something on the floor. They're asking for a, a towel from the Dale bench, and that's exactly what's going on. So things becoming a little bit choppy here in this third period. Lots of whistles, lots of loose balls. It's okay as long as the good gals, the host team, comes out one point ahead. Now we get a timeout on the floor. 3.40 to go, third period. Dale basketball when we return. This is Lady Pirate Basketball from DalePirates.tv, powered by Squirtle. time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. There you can see the final touches of the house cleaning going on to the baseline off to our left. In today's world, you can't be too careful. Looks like a hazmat unit almost out there with sprays and towels and wipes, gloves. That exercise has taken more than two minutes. And all this from an injury from Mackenzie Herman, who went, looked like back to either the training room or the locker room. So both teams getting a chance to rest just a little bit, basically getting the equivalent of a free timeout. It'll be Lady Pirate basketball with 3.40 to go here in the third. 
28-25. We've had two overtime games today. That's why this one started much later than the original 7 o'clock start time. In the preceding game, OCS boys defeated Millwood's 83-75 in overtime. Millwood playing without five or seven of their best players are out for football. Almost beat OCS. OCS hit a three at the top of the key at the buzzer just to get it into overtime after the Falcons had scored or erased a 10-point lead late in the fourth quarter. Rutland with it out front, left side. On the baseline, it's Waller. Jump passes to Ava Bell. Bell with a basketball. Tried to bounce it around the defender, and today Atchison has called for a foul. That's her second. 28-25 our score with 3.19 to play. Now Mackenzie Herman, who didn't really have to miss much time at all because it took so long to clean, long to clean up the blood on the baseline, is back in. Rutland leaves it to Strange. Kaylee bounces it to Brooke. She'll attack baseline left, pivots. Goes to Griggs, back out high, left front court, Kaylee Strange to Rutland, tries to penetrate, does, layup, no good, Brooke gets it back, hit the bottom of the rim, ball juggled, still free, and the Pirates have it, and Rutland then had it knocked out of her hands, and it saved in bounds. Good play by Imani Atchison all the way around. Promise right to the goal. Herman blocks the shot, Karam's right to Imani, and Atchison lays it in. And it's a one-point game, 28-27, 2.40 to play here in the third. Rutland. Finds a wide open Griggs who lays it in. She almost didn't see her in time. There's the answer, and it's back to a three-point game as time is called. Carson Griggs will have to retie her right shoe, and that will enable the Lady Falcons to get Rihanna Hill back into the ball game and replace Amani Atchison. 30 to 27, our score. 238 to play third period. Winner will play in the girls' championship.
We saw Seedy briefly in the first half, did not see the sophomore Alyssa Isaac. Millwood with just 11 players in uniform tonight, but I think all 11, with the exception of Andrea Walter, have played. Ava Bell's second one is up and good. 36-30, Lady Pirates under a half minute to go here from the ship of the third period. Promise Wright bounces it. C.D. Johnson, she's double teamed, and it's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Carson Griggs. Boy, she plays so hard, diving to the floor. Millwood will trigger in in front of their own bench. Layla Jones picked up two fouls and has not picked up a third since. Good move that time by Brandy Heron, who throws up a runner and banks it in in traffic. 36-32. Ten seconds to play here with the period. Jump pass hauled in by Rutland. Rutland into the paint. Left quarter. Wallers three. Banks home. Holy cow, she shot that high off the backboard, and it came in clean as you please, and that'll do it on the third period of play. Well, Gracie has struggled tonight, but she kind of got a prayer answered right there. And it, Dale leads by seven as we head to the fourth period, 39-32. Our broadcast brought to you by Bank First on DalePirates.tv, powered by Scordal. Your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at scordal.com right now for more information. Back to school. Now your worries about the kids going over on their data plans are back. Mom and Dad, this is for you. Right now, make the switch to Pioneer's unlimited data plans. Don't let data overages and high cell phone bills be something you stress about this school year. We have a plan for everyone. Let Pioneer handle your worries by stopping at a local office today to learn how you can save. Visit GoPioneer.com for details. Some restrictions may apply. Leading score in the ball game, Dale's Brooke Rutland with 18 points. She came in average at 18-3 before yesterday. It dipped just a little bit, having 16 of the win over Santa Fe South. No Lady Falcons in double figures. Their leading scores, Brandy Herod with nine points. Promise Wright has six, eight points for Milani Williams. Millwood down seven with eight to play, trying to get to the championship game of their first time in this event. Has it to start the fourth period. Alyssa Isaac cross courts at C.D. Johnson and a foul against Rutland. That'll get some moans and groans for the partisan crowd here out. And that's number two on Brooke Rutland. Only the third against the Lady Pirates with 7.44 to play here with the ball game. 39-32, Pirates at OCA coming up next. C.D. Johnson will bounce it between the circles. Promise right. Back to C.D. Johnson top of the key and A. Atchison. Right baseline is Alayla Jones. Turn shot, goes around the hoop, falls off, and then Herman unable to save it back in bounds. So a team rebound there for the Lady Falcons, and Amani Atchison, who has just two points over the second half, will come in to replace C.D. Johnson. C-E-I-D-I, C.D. Johnson. Amani Atchison to inbound, triggers it to Anae Atchison wing left. Dale still in that zone, right side, promise right. Now to Herod, she'll splash home a three in the quarter. Randy Herod can flat go, she has 12 with the ball game. Millwood's only double figure score. Rutland, middle of the floor, drives baseline, fakes a pass, misses the layup. Wasn't challenged, Amani Atchison has it, then loses the handle. It was poked free by Griggs, Bell has it, bounces it to Rutland in a foul. It all started because of the heads up play of Carson Griggs and Herod has picked up her second. So Brooke Rutland has made a living tonight at the foul line. She made her first five, missed her sixth, made her last two. She's now eight of nine as she hits the first free throw, and it's back to a five-point lead. I may have said that was Carson Griggs. I think that could have been Ava Bell or Gracie Waller that poked that ball free. My apologies. Second free throw is good. 41-35, a minute gone here to the fourth period. Promise right, harassed by Bell, pass knocked away by Rutland, hit Amani Atchison at the top of the head. She retains the possession to Promise right. She'll rush a jumper, no. Gracie Waller with a rebound, her bounce pass tipped, stolen by Amani Atchison and blocked out of bounds. 
Six-point lead. We've played almost 90 seconds here for the fourth period. Dale's girls trying to win their seventh straight game and beat Millwood in a rare matchup of these two. Herod goes through a double team of the right block and is fouled. It should and is against Gracie Waller. You can see her reacting to the call, and Waller has her second. Tell you what, Brandy Herod is going to be a really special player for the Lady Falcons. She's just a sophomore, one of eight underclassmen of this roster, and she misses the first free throw. The only thing she's not done real well tonight is shoot free throws. She made her first, has missed her last two. Before that, the Lady Falcons had made four straight for the line. They'd made five of their first six. They were three of four in the first half. Second free throw is up. Left-hander misses short. Griggs down for the rebound. Dale has it up six, trying to control this fourth period. And while or Herman has it knocked away, Atchison has it. All the way up to Promise Wright for the layup. Easy deuce for the freshman. Millwood keeps the full court pressure up. Rutland to Waller, Gracie settles down wing left. Even if they don't force turnovers, sometimes this pressure gets you playing at a pace you're not comfortable with. Good spin move for the low post by Griggs who finishes. Carson Griggs with nine points and it's back to a six point game with 6.13 to play in the championship semifinals. Winner plays Elgin tomorrow at four. Layla Jones of the block goes left, missed the contested shot. Good defense of the post. Gracie Waller. Griggs the rebound to Herman, now to Rutland, left side to Gracie. Underneath it goes for Bell. Ava moves to her left, goes up, shot was short. Well defended by Layla Jones and picked up by Amani Atchison. Millwood still breathing, down six, and Herman tips a half-court pass out of bounds away from Heron on the far side. Amani Williams, Kennedy Tate now will check in. Tate played sparingly off of Coach Albert's bench in the first half. It'll be Amani Atchison and Layla Jones that will go to the bench for Millwood. 5.43 to play in the ball game. 43-37, Dale. Elbow right with it is Amani Williams. And Waller got up in the air, came down, and then took it away from her. Not a good play turned in by Gracie. Dale can slow it down now. They're going to face some half-court pressure. Rutland with it to Waller. The two exchange passes. Now it's Brooke in the left front quadrant. Out high with it is Bell, elbow right to Grigg. Ten to the basket, Waller, she finds her and she lays it in. Lead is back to eight, that equals their biggest. Last was at 12-4. 5.09 to play here in the ball game. Down the paint goes an A. Atchison and it's stolen away by Gracie Waller. So two straight defensive plays turned in by Gracie the junior on the defensive end. Waller holds it in front of Eric Smith, skips it left wing to right wing for Rutland. Elbow right, Griggs. In the corner with it is Herman. Herman will cross court at left side. Ava Bell fakes the pass, drives, pulls up mid-range jumper too strong. Amani Williams with a rebound and a foul. That's the fourth against Dale, and it will go against McKenzie Herman. Herman has number two. Reminder that Bank First is proud to support the Dale Pirates this basketball season. Bank First is loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to the Pirates, and loyal to you. Member FDIC, another tip pass, another turnover for Millwood. Rutland up the right sideline of the counterattack, whips it left wing. Waller's three, no good. It was on line but short. And A. Atchison has it. Now they'll bounce it up ahead. Promise right for the easy deuce. And a timeout, Eric Smith. He didn't like the way his girls got back at all. And he is really upset with Gracie Waller. Timeout, 420 to play in the ball game, 45-39. Lady Pirates, this is Dale Basketball from DalePirates.tv, brought to you by Bank First and powered by Squirtle. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. 
we'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. Dale High School would like to thank the First National Bank and Trust Company, Boomerang Diner, and DD Truck Sales for their unwavering support of Pirate and Lady Pirate basketball. And a foul in the backcourt, Kennedy Tate called for a reach. And now we'll have free throws at the other end. You can see that Mackenzie Herman, you might be able to see it on your screen, has cotton or some type of Cloth in her right nostril. That was the part that was bleeding earlier and caused the delay. First free throw is good by Rutland, who now has 10 points alone for the free throw line. It's the eighth foul against Millwood. Second free throw, nothing but net. Brooke was on the first team all Class 2A state tournament squad a year ago as Dale advanced to the state semifinals for the second time in four years under Eric Smith's direction. Wing left with it is Brandy Herrett between the circles and A. Atchison. And a foul as Griggs was gambling for the steal. Carson now has her third personal foul. She's the first lady pirate with more than two fouls. And it looks like Elia Landreth is going to come in and replace Griggs. Next foul against Dale will send Millwood into the one and one. Halfway through this fourth period, winner gets Elgin tomorrow at four. Quick three put up left wing, no good. Landreth had just checked in with a rebound. Kennedy Tate stuck that one on the back of the rim. Dale seals off for another defensive rebound. Into the paint with it is Rutland through the paint. Goes down to Waller, short arm to eight footer. It's out of bounds and last touch by the Lady Pirates. Millwood has 39 points. That is the third highest point total that an opponent has scored this year against Dale. 326 to go in this championship semifinal game. Rihanna Hill down low, pivoting to Monty Williams, and she lost it off of her leg out of bounds. Well, Millwood is starting to panic just a little bit of the offensive end. They're rushing shots, and they're playing a little bit unsettled at that end as well, giving Dale some extra possessions. Herman into the front court, and it's knocked out of her hands by Atchison out of bounds with 3.24 to play. Two overtime games today on championship and consolation semifinal Friday at the Boomerang Classic. 3.17 to go. Dale has it, preserving an eight-point lead. It's their third eight-point lead of the night. Rutland working around the defender, veers right into the paint. Somehow kept her triple. Now lobs it out front. Waller left side to McKenzie Herman. Right of a Gracie screen. Now she'll bounce it to Ava Bell. Slot right. Bell pivots. She'll take Hill off the dribble to the goal and misses the layup. Follow shot. No good by Elia, but Landreth is fouled. Whistle number three on Promise Wright in the ninth against Millwood. In the first half, Dale had but three two-point baskets. First one is up and good by Aliyah Landreth. It's her forced points in two games in this Boomerang Classic. This is a Lady Pirate team that came in averaging almost 20 and a half points per ball game in the paint. They've been outscored tonight in the paint by Millwood. This is a team that can get to the rim with relative ease. Second free throw, no good. Lady Falcons have it with 2.47 to play. 48-39 here on DalePirates.tv. Promise right, dribbles right wing. Get the foul line of Monty Williams. She'll throw up a runner. No, Williams gets her own miss and banks it in. 48-41, Herman slows it down. Now accelerates around Brianna Hill into the front court, and she's fouled. And that'll be number three on Rihanna Hill. So McKenzie will go to the line for two. That's the 10th foul against Millwood, but she was hacked in the act. McKenzie had 12 points and a half last night against Santa Fe South. Before that game, she was shooting 62% for the line, and she hits the first. This will be the 23rd free throw attempted by Dale, and both are good. 
They are 18 for 23 at the strike. Hood, or excuse me, Herod drives to the goal, misses the lamp. Randy gets her own miss, is tied up. And possession to Dale. Eric Smith, earlier in his career, had some real battles with Arnelia Spears and Millwood when he was at Alba. Rutland drives to the rim, hit the bottom of the basket. Bell has the miss, pivots, finds herself open, and lays it in. 52-41. Dale closed it in with their seventh straight win, another trip to the tournament finals. Two minutes to play. Bounce pass to Imani Williams, and she'll throw it away. And now Dava Albert wants a timeout. We'll take one as well, 156 to play. Dale by 11. This is Lady Pirates basketball, powered by Squirtle on DalePirates.tv. system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Herman and Waller, Griggs, Strange, and Rutland, the five out of the floor for Dale. They have it, 154 to play in the ball game. Lady Pirates lead by 11. It's their biggest spread of the night. Herman guarded by Ane Atchison. Winner will face Elgin at four of the championship game. It looks like it'll be Dale and the Lady Owls for a second straight year in the Boomerang Classic. Griggs as the Lady Pirates will work on the clock, try to get it back to Rutland, tipped out of bounds by Amani Williams. 97 seconds to play in an 11-point lead. Rutland will bounce it for McKenzie Herman to Carson Griggs. Eric Smith has not gone deep on the bench tonight. Good pass to Griggs. Pulls it away from Hill. Missed the layup and a foul. Rihanna Hill with her fourth personal foul. And now Carson will go to the free throw line where she's one of two tonight. They will march on. They'll be 7-1 and one and will face Elgin, a team that they beat last year, 57-16 in the first round of the Boomerang Classic. But a lot has changed on the... 4A school in southwest part of Oklahoma. Griggs' first free throw is good. Lady Pirates will be 5-0 in this two-year event. Their male counterparts will try to match that in the second game of our doubleheader. Second free throw is short. Lady Falcons have it. 118 to play. Brandy Herod into the front court. Elbow right is Amani Williams. On the wing, Hill, she'll put up a three and got it. Lady Falcons still with some hope, down nine with 71 seconds to play. Kaylee Strange up ahead to Griggs, and Griggs has to save it in bounds and does so to Hood. Bad pass by Strange. Right side right to the goal, layup is good. That's five straight by Millwood, and it's down to seven with under a minute to play, 53-46. As Herman is fouled by Herod in the backcourt, and that's Brandy's third. Millwood is seldom out of a ball game because of their pressure. It looks like the Dale will advance. 54 seconds to play. I said they would win their seventh straight, and they really should as Herman hits the free throw. Take care of the basketball, hit free throws. That's what it comes down to now. Because if you don't turn it over on the initial pressure, they're going to have to foul you. Second free throw, no good. Herman's first miss and four attempts. Millwood has it, 48 seconds to play. Herod to the goal through a double team. Layup is good. No, they're going to wave it off and call a foul. And that's number four on Brandy Herod. And that may just about seal it with 48 seconds to play, 54-46. Herman against Hill. Rihanna can't foul her. She has four. 
Two against two, and she does anyway. That's her fifth. And I guess at this juncture, it doesn't matter. You can't be picky. You have to stop the clock. So Hill is out with three points on a bucket in the third period from beyond the arc. Stop me if you've heard this before. McKenzie Herman at the free throw line. McKenzie Herman has eight points. She scored 20 in almost six periods of basketball in this Boomerang Classic. Amani Atchison will come in for the Lady Falcons here in the winning seconds of this one. Herman's free throw good. Girls championship at 4 tomorrow. Boys championship at 5.30. Girls third place game at 7. Third place boys game at 8.30. Herman barely hit the front of the rim on the second. Millwood has it. Today Atchison to the goal. Underneath it goes for Amani Atchison. And a foul. Waller thought she had a block. She has her third personal foul. Fifty-five forty-six with thirty-three seconds to play. Amani Atchison's free throw is short off the front rim. So Millwood made five straight at the free throw line. Since then, they missed their last three. Here's Atchison's free throw. Rattles in and out. Herman plays volleyball down low with Hare. The ball ripped out of her hands by Griggs. Out of bounds. Last touch by Amani Williams. Now the officials are going to get together, and they may change this. Coach Albert on the bench trying to persuade the call. They will stay with the original call. With 29 seconds to play, 55-46. Waller better hurry. She just beat the count. Gets it inbounds to Griggs, and it's knocked away from behind. Promise right on the wing to Atchison. Her three is short. Rebound juggled. Stick back attempt by Williams overshoots the basket. It's out of bounds off of Billwood with 18 seconds to play. So Dale and Elgin at four for the championship game tomorrow. Millwood will play Kingston for third place at seven. And a foul in the backcourt is against Amani Atchison. That is her second. And McKenzie Herman will be at the line. This is the time of night, time of game, that McKenzie is going to be at the line a lot in close situations. She's the primary ball handler. Has to hit her free throw. She's missed two of her last three, but overall is five of seven with that make from the strike. She has her tenth point, five at each half. Senior is good. But she and Brooke Rutland two of the three leading scorers on last year's state semifinal team that have returned. Ten seconds to play. Herod bounces right side for Atchison. She'll throw it away. Herman with the interception to Griggs, and Millwood will not foul. Final score, Dale 57, Millwood 46. So the win streak is now seven straight for the Lady Pirates. So they remain unbeaten in the two-year history of this event. 57-46, Dale the final. Our broadcast brought to you by Bank First and powered by Squirtle on DalePirates.tv. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Back to school. Now your worries about the kids going over on their data plans are back. Mom and Dad, this is for you. 
Right now, make the switch to Pioneer's unlimited data plans. Don't let data overages and high cell phone bills be something you stress about this school year. We have a plan for everyone. Let Pioneer handle your worries by stopping at a local office today to learn how you can save. Visit GoPioneer.com for details. Some restrictions may apply. And we are back at the Dale High School Gymnasium. Todd Miller, the Scordal crew, 57 to 46. Dale wins. They'll face Elgin for the championship of the Boomerang Classic tomorrow night. Dale now 5 and 0 at home, 7 and 1 overall. One winners of seven straight. They got 22 points for Brooke Rutland, one of three double figure scores. 10 from uh, Carson Griggs. Mackenzie Herman hit a lot of free throws in the second half. She had 11. Eight points from Gracie Waller. Five from Ava Bell. One point from Elia Landriff. We'll talk about free throw shooting here in a moment. Three Lady Falcons at double figures. Brandy Herod finished with 12. 12 from Promise Wright. That's a sophomore and a, res a freshman, respectively. Ten points from Mamani Williams. Five from Anae Atchison. Foul it out with three. Rihanna Hill, two points apiece from Mamani Atchison and also Layla Jones. Dale tonight outscored Millwood by 18 for the free throw line, 23-5. And they took 21 more free throw attempts than the Lady Falcons, 31 to 10. They led 12-4 early, led by two at the end of one, led by four at halftime, by seven at the end of three, 39-32, and win it. They're seven straight, 57 to 46. Again, the championship game tomorrow is scheduled for the girls at four o'clock, four o'clock here at Dale, and it will be Elgin and the Lady Pirates. We'll be back in about five minutes, and we'll get you ready for the boys. Championship semifinal. It's the Pirates and the Eagles of OCA coming up next on DalePirates.tv, powered by Squirtle. <laughs> 